Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to episode 17 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. I have a few things I want to discuss today and one uh, particularly exciting item. Um, first off, though, I'd like to say congratulations to Nathan Bobrowski, who was our episode 16 winner. He's been hosting Link down in Enrollment Services uh, for the past couple of weeks. So if you'd like a chance to host Link in your department, stay tuned on Monday for the episode uh, 17 question. <clears throat> uh, secondly, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, badges. I know I discussed badges in a previous episode, um, but I'm planning on rolling out a badge for those folks who have won one of the video blog contests, and uh, it'll be a, a TCC CTC Link uh, vlog contest winner badge. And uh, I'll be issuing that uh, sometime early next week. Um, and so if you haven't signed up, if you have won uh, an episode of the, or a question with one of the episodes from the video blog, uh, but you haven't signed up for the Mozilla backpack, you'll need to do that in order to accept the badge. And uh, to access um, the Mozilla or sign up for the Mozilla backpack, you just need to go to uh, backpack.openbadges.org and sign up. And uh, I'll post the, the link here. Um, and then once you've signed up, go ahead and send me an email. Let me know so that I can send you a badge for signing up for the backpack. Um, and then you can accept the uh, contest winner badge as well. Um, and then uh, the exciting news that I wanted to share is uh, we've been we've finally been given access to a sandbox environment of the PeopleSoft system. And a sandbox environment is um, you know a real basic install of the system. Uh, it does have all the functionality or all of the um, access to all of the functionality, but um, but with due to security roles, we may not all have access to that functionality. And right now, the, the sandbox is only rolled out to our three pillar leads, so Steve Ashpole, Beth Brooks, and Marianne Brummond, um, as well as myself. Um, and so we're, we're testing the system right now, making sure that, that we're able to log in, that the authentication is working, um, and that we're able to navigate the system without um, the system breaking down and, and those kinds of things. And then, and then as, we're, as we finish doing that kind of initial testing, then we'll be rolling um, the sandbox environment out to, to other folks, um, subject matter experts that have been uh, working on data conversion and data validation processes throughout the project. Um, and then hopefully, um, as, as we are able to explore that space uh, more, that we'll be able to open it up to other folks as well. Uh, but in the, in the interim anyway, I, I will be, I do plan to uh, demonstrate some of the aspects of the system uh, in the video blogs just so that people can kind of get a peek of uh, what the system may eventually look like. Um, so we have access to, right now we have access to Campus Solutions, uh, uh, the Campus Solutions pillar, and this is the main page, this is what it looks like here, and you'll see I've got... Um, uh, some access as, as an instructor, no courses of course, but uh, access to the faculty center. Um, and then we have the human capital management pillar or uh, HR pillar um, and uh, the menu system there. And then uh, access also to the, the finance pillar. And, uh, and one of the things I, and so one of the things I wanted to show initially, I, something I stumbled, stumbled upon uh, the other day as I was uh, exploring the system, I can't actually sh demonstrate this because the module hasn't been set up yet, but they have a really interesting uh, module in here called the Paycheck Modeler. And so um, you'll actually be able to, uh, once the system is up and running and everything's been configured and it's past our go live date, um, you'll have the capability as a staff member to, to go into the system and run some hypothetical calculations on your paycheck. So if you uh, were changing your tax withholding status or uh, you knew you were going to be getting a promotion or you wanted to change deductions or something like that, you'll actually be able to go into the system and actually um, make those adjustments and see what that would look like. Um, so that's really kind of an interesting tool. Um, it'll be exciting to see it in action once, um, once all the information has been loaded into the system. Um, but it was just one, one of the things I, f I found that I thought was pretty interesting and something that we really don't, um, don't have that capability uh, to do ourselves at this point, but as part of the uh, staff self-service tool. So. Uh, anyway, um, like I said, I'll, I'll try to roll out um, uh, some new feature that I happen to see as I'm exploring the system and exploring with other folks on campus. 
and I do plan to, to host some uh, demo times where we where, uh, kind of open lab times where people can come in and I can showcase some aspects of the system um, and we can kind of look at uh, the system in a little more detail and it'll become more and more robust as we as we uh, convert more data into the system and it gets loaded into this sandbox environment for us. Uh, that's all I have um, for this time around. Uh, thanks for joining me and everybody have a great weekend.